Since dropping the first game of the season, the South Oldham Dragons have won seven straight. Now tonight they hosted a North Bullet team heading the wrong way, having lost four of their last five. Yeah, not great. We picked things up near the end of the first half. This game tied at 14, but the Dragons threatening inside the five. Colton Bolden bowls his way in for the touchdown. South Oldham takes a 21 to 14 lead. North Bullet looking to respond, but even Bednarzik has other plans. Snags the interception takes it back for the pick six. However, a block in the back on the Dragons negates the score. They do keep the football and on the very next play. Tay Winfield goes 28 yards for the touchdown. Dragons open this one up in the second half and they win it 50 to 20. Over at Collins High School, a big night as the Titans hosted rival Shelby County on senior night. Both teams struggle to find the scoreboard early, but Rocket strike first. Zachary Miracle going downfield finds Matthew Rhodes all alone beyond the secondary. 7-0 Rockets. Later, Collins trying to get some points on the board with a field goal, but that goes just a bit outside. Rockets get the ball back on downs. They try to get a little tricky, running a reverse and throw deep downfield, but the Collins defense is there breaking it up. Rockets go on to win it 28-20. Now Atherton hoping to earn win number five tonight, hosting Doss. Dragons not going to make it easy. Barry Reed gets free for the touchdown, but Atherton doesn't let that get to them. They come right back with a response. It's Josiah Price with some room, and he'll go 75 yards for the touchdown. Rebels with the explosive play. You hear lots of coaches want those. But Barry Reed having a big night, stays low on the very next play here, finds the end zone for the second time. Doss wins big 54 to 25. It's playoff time in Southern Indiana, and we begin in New Albany as the Bulldogs hosted Columbus East. These two teams met back on September 14th with the Olympians winning by a single point. New Albany down 17-3 with 10 seconds to go in the first half. Ball at the 15-yard line. Dylan Clark with the toss to Devin Gummer, and he takes it down to the one-and-a-half-yard line with two seconds left. Bulldogs roll the dice, go for it. Austin Opal stops short of the goal line, so it's 17-3 going into the half. Olympians get the ball first in the third quarter, drive right down the field, and Lance Gruy caps it off to make it 24-3. New Albany with some fight. Clark hits Gummer over the middle, and he can pick him up and put him down. He gone. But it wouldn't be enough as Columbus East goes on to win this one, 31 to 16. Let's head over to Clarksville where the Generals hosted Mitchell. First drive of the game for Mitchell. Brandon Brazell on third and 11. Bounces it to the outside and finds the land of six. Two point conversion, good. It's eight to nothing. Clarksville looking to spread out the defense. They do, but we're gonna have a fumble. Can't put the ball on the ground. Mitchell recovers and on the very next play, Luke Lefevre hits a wide open Leighton Allen. I got a fever. The only prescription is ball cowbell. Mitchell moving on. They beat Clarksville 46 to 6. Heading over to Providence. Pioneers hosting Switzerland County. Providence up big. Caden Williams eludes some tacklers, hits the right sideline, and speed kills. He goes 57 yards for the score. This made it 43 to nothing. Still in the first quarter, James Hope. Gets the ball, gets a big chunk right here. Takes it all the way down inside the 10-yard line. Now beginning of the second quarter, same drive. It's Hope again from a few yards out. Providence beats Switzerland County 64-7. to 